Hello friends, welcome to Kasam's laboratory. This video will cover the fourth chapter of class 6 science NCERT textbook. From this chapter, we will move into the physical world. The chapter is sorting materials into groups. This chapter has been divided into four questions, which will cover the various concepts of this chapter. Question number one, what are materials? Before we discuss what we mean by material, let us define what an object is. An object is anything that can be seen and touched. Now coming to materials. Materials are elementary or basic substances from which an object is made. Metal, plastic, wood, glass, mud are some examples of materials. Chair, table, doors are some objects which are made up of wood. The picture shows some of the most common objects made up of plastic. There are also certain objects which are made up of more than one material. Let's take the example of a simple ballpoint pen. The body is made up of plastic. The spring and ballpoint nib is made up of metal. Question number two. What do you mean by sorting of objects? Sorting is a process of arranging objects systematically in groups according to certain characteristics or properties. The basis of grouping is a common characteristic, attribute or property. For example, color, shape, texture, hardness, etc. The picture shows sorting of objects based on color. This picture shows sorting of objects based on shape. The objects have been placed into two groups based on their shape that is spherical and cuboidal. The picture shows sorting of objects based on edibility that is eatable and non-eatable objects regarding which we have already studied in chapter 1. Let's answer the next question and understand what are the different properties based on which objects are classified. Question number 3 what is meant by property of a material? Property of a material can be defined as the intrinsic or inherent characteristic or traits. These characteristics can be physical, chemical or mechanical. In this chapter, we will be discussing five characteristics or properties to sort or classify objects. They are appearance, hardness, density, solubility and transparency. Let's start with appearance. It is a characteristic or trait of an object that defines its visible physical characteristics like hardness, luster, texture, shape and size. Luster is a gentle shining light that is reflected from a surface. Objects with shiny surfaces are called as lustrous and the one with dull surfaces that is which do not reflect light are called as non-lustrous. The picture shows lustrous metallic ball and non-lustrous wood. Most of the metals are lustrous but their surface usually lose shine because of the reaction of the surface with air which is also called as rusting as shown in the picture. Hardness is the ability of a material to resist deformation. The object which gets easily deformed or compressed on application of pressure are termed as soft objects and the one which do not deform or compress easily are called as hard objects. Example, cotton ball, wool and sponge are some examples of soft objects. Diamond is one of the hardest known object to mankind. Stones, bricks are some commonly found hard objects. The ability of a material to dissolve in a liquid especially water is termed as solubility. The substance which dissolve in water are called as water soluble and the one which don't are called as water insoluble. For example, salt and sugar are soluble in water and dissolve completely in water whereas sand does not dissolve in water. Liquids that completely dissolve in each other are called miscible liquids and the ones which don't are called immiscible liquids. For example, vinegar is miscible in water, whereas coconut oil is immiscible in water. 
Some gases are soluble in water, whereas others are not. Water usually has small quantities of some gases dissolved in it. For example, oxygen gas dissolved in water is very important for the survival of animals and plants that live in water. Nitrogen and methane gas are insoluble in water. The objects which allow light to pass through them completely are called transparent objects. For example, the glass bottle shown in the picture is a transparent object. You can actually see what is behind the bottle. The one which don't allow the passage of light are called opaque object. For example, the box and the suitcase. We cannot see what is behind them. And the object which allow light partially are called translucent object. For example, the picture shown in the center is a translucent window pane. Density is the amount of mass per unit of volume. The density of an object determines whether it will float or sink in another substance. The object which are more denser than water will sink and the one lighter than water will float. The video shows humans floating on the surface of water without making any effort. Please write down in the comment section the name of the water body and why is it happening so. Float test is usually carried out to test the freshness of an egg. A fresh egg will always sink in water, whereas a rotten egg floats on the surface of water. Finally, coming to the last question. What is the importance of sorting material? There are two important reasons to sort objects. The first one is convenience. When similar objects are placed together, it helps us to locate them easily. For example, a vegetable vendor places the vegetables in groups as shown in the picture. This makes it convenient for both vendor and customers. The second important reason is it, it makes it easier to study. Dividing materials in groups makes it convenient to study their properties and also observe any patterns in their properties. For example, the periodic table which segregates metals, non-metals and other kinds of elements helps us to study them properly and to identify patterns. Question number 1. Name 5 objects which can be made from wood. The answer is chair, table, box, door and wheel. Question number 2. Select those objects from the following which shine. Glass bowl, plastic toy, steel spoon, cotton shirt. The answer is steel spoon and glass bowl. Question number 3. Match the objects given below with the materials from which they could be made. Remember, an object could be made from more than one material and a given material could be used for making many objects. Book. A book is essentially made up of paper, but its cover can also be made up of plastic, leather or wood. A tumbler is usually made up of plastic or glass. It can also be made up of wood. Chair is usually made up of wood and plastic. Toy is usually made up of wood or plastic. It can also be made up of paper or glass. Question number 4. State whether the statements given below are true or false. Statement 1. Stone is transparent while glass is object. It's false. Stone is actually opaque while glass is transparent because it allows the passage of light. Statement 2. A notebook has luster while eraser does not. False. Neither notebook nor eraser have luster. Statement 3. Chalk dissolve in water. True. Statement 4. A piece of wood floats on water. True. Statement 5. Sugar does not dissolve in water. False. Sugar does dissolve in water. Statement 6. Oil mixes with water. False. Oil is lighter than water. Hence, it floats on water. Statement 7. Sand settles down in water. True. Sand is not soluble in water. Hence, it settles down in water. Statement 8. Vinegar dissolves in water. True. Question number 5. 
Given below are the names of some objects and materials: water, basketball, orange, sugar, globe, apple, and other than picture. Group them as round-shaped and other shapes, eatables and non-eatables. Basketball, orange, globe, apple, and other than picture are round-shaped, whereas water and sugar are other than round shape. Water, orange. sugar apple are eatable item also called as edible items whereas basketball globe and earthen pitcher are non eatable or non edible items question number 6 list all items known to you that float on water check and see if they will float on an oil or kerosene wooden block paper balloon hair plastic bottle wooden logs boat etc will float on water a few of this like hair balloon can float on kerosene oil question number 7 find the odd one out from the following a chair bed table baby cupboard the odd one out is baby which is a living object b rose jasmine boat marigold lotus the odd one out is boat which is not a flower c aluminium iron copper silver sand the odd one out is sand which is not a metal d sugar salt sand and copper sulfate as you can see copper sulfate is bright and blue in color is the odd one out activity number 1 the objective of the activity is to list down the various material an object is made of I have listed seven objects. The most common material used in making these materials are steel, glass, plastic, metal, wood, rubber, and clay. Activity number two. The objective of the activity is to list down different types of objects that are made from the same material. Why this activity? This activity is to be done to understand that a single material can be used to make different objects. The table shows five of the most common material used and the various object made by using these material. Activity number three: collect small pieces of different materials: paper, cardboard, wood, copper wire, aluminium sheet, chalk. Do any of these appear shiny? Separate the shiny materials into a group. Now, why this activity? This activity is to be undertaken to identify lustrous object. we see that copper wire and aluminium sheet are lustrous objects whereas paper cardboard wood and chalk are non lustrous or non shiny objects activity number 4 test solubility of following material in water salt sugar chalk powder sawdust we see that salt and sugar are soluble in water whereas sand chalk powder and sawdust are not soluble in water activity number 5 collect samples of vinegar lemon juice mustard oil or coconut oil kerosene or any other liquid take a glass tumbler fill it up with water add a few spoonful of one liquid to this and stir it well let it stand for 5 minutes observe whether the liquid mixes with water the objective of this activity is to test if other liquids are soluble in water or not we see that vinegar and lemon juice mixes well with water whereas mustard oil coconut oil and kerosene oil which are lighter in density than water don't mix and float on the surface of water finally we come to the end of the chapter we have learned that objects around us are made up of large variety of materials a given material could be used to make a large number of objects it is also possible that an object could be made of a single material or of many different types of materials different types of materials have different properties some materials are shiny in appearance while others are not some are rough some smooth similarly some materials are hard whereas some others are soft some materials are soluble in water whereas some others are insoluble some materials such as glass are transparent and some others such as wood and metals are opaque 
some materials are translucent materials are grouped together on the basis of similarities and differences in their properties things are grouped together for convenience and to study their properties